You know, we just need to follow our hearts because the heart wants what the heart wants. My mind tells me one thing, but my heart tells me another. How many times have we heard those things when we talk about the heart? I bring this up because there are certain things that Jesus never said. <laughs> Here's something Jesus never said, follow your heart. Here's the problem. The heart can get us into a lot of trouble. Think of all the songs that have been written about the heart, the Bee Gees saying, how can you mend a broken heart? Tony Braxton saying, unbreak my heart. Maybe she broke her heart and the Bee Gees are trying to figure out how they could mend it. And then Stevie Nicks saying about, stop dragging my heart around. Maybe that's how it got broken. Let's not forget about Billy Ray Cyrus and his achy, breaky heart. Look, here's the thing. The Bible says the heart is deceitfully wicked above all things who can know it. So when we say follow your heart, that can actually get us into a lot of trouble. God wants us to love him with all of our heart, with all of our mind, and with all of our will. But we should make our decisions not based on our heart or our emotions, but based on what the Bible tells us to do and what the Bible tells us not to do. So no, Jesus never said, follow your heart. In fact, what we should do is let God change our heart. I love the way the psalmist put it, create in me a clean heart, O God. We, we need our hearts changed and we need our minds changed. And that happens from a relationship with Christ and from studying the word of God. Think about that.